Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today's talk show is about something that I think is an important issue. And most of my topics normally come from conversations that I have with friends or from messages that people send me. Um, the topic for today's show, marital finances, comes from a conversation I had with a friend. This friend is currently going through something very difficult. She may be splitting up from her husband after about three decades together. And there are some concerns about finances because everything is together. So that's why we're having this show. But what's really interesting is asking a question, what do you have in your household? How do you guys arrange it? And hearing the different answers and why it works for some people and not for others. Because, of course, there's no one size fit all for anything, right? Uh, Lina, mến chào quý vị và các bạn. Um, cái, um, cái show hôm nay là mình trò chuyện về một uh, một cái topic Lina thấy rất là quan trọng. Okay? Khi mà mình lấy nhau rồi đó, là cái gì cũng chung hay là sao? Hay là có là của anh, của em và của chúng mình? Mà đây không nói về con cái nha, đây nói là về tiền bạc đó. So, hôm nay Lina có um, bốn cô bạn thế à, bốn cô mỹ gốc việt và có lẽ hôm nay nói tiếng anh hơi nhiều because it's easier à, nên hôm nay cũng là một uh, cơ hội để quý vị nghe được tiếng anh see if you understand it uh, and if you don't ask a question and i will answer you okay let's get to our guests my first guest is Thu. Thu is 31 years old. She's been married five years together for seven years. She has two kids and she's a pharmacist. Uh, Thu, welcome to the show. Uh, where do you live and what is your financial arrangement at home? Hi, everyone. My name is Thu and I'm currently from Uh, Houston, Texas, and uh, my current uh, financial is uh, we have a joy, everything joy. Oh, <laughs> so everything. Have... All right. Our second guest today is Helen. Helen is 36. She's uh, been married nine years. She is a nurse. They have three kids. Helen, welcome to the show. What is the arrangement at your household? Hi, Jay. How are everybody? Um, so... I've been married for, well, this July, six, gonna be nine years. So we actually has a joint account for six years. But just recently, um, I started to have my own account. Oh. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you happy about this? Yes, yes. We both know about it. We're happy about it. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. So we'll, we'll talk later about why sure. you change things up. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, My third guest today is Cam. Cam is 40 years old. She's been married three years, but they've been together for 10 years. They have four kids. She's an onboarding specialist who works with traveling healthcare workers. Cam, what is the arrangement in your household? Hi, Jay. Hi, everyone. My name is Cam, and um, all of our accounts are joined. Oh. We have a bunch of different accounts, but they're all joined. Okay. Very good. And our... Fourth and final guest is Linda. Linda is 43. Linda has been married six years. They've been together 12 years. She has a 12-year-old son. But there's also a third partner in this relationship. I should do a show just on you, Linda, because that's very interesting to me. Um, and the third person in this relationship has been together with them for almost a year now. Uh, and she's in the uh, life insurance and financial industry. So Linda, what's the arrangement that you have there in your triad? Um, chào chị Lina, chào quý vị. Um, our arrangement, so I'm the person who handles all the finances in the family. So um, how my uh, partner slash wife, two thirds of her income goes into our joint account. One third goes into her own personal account. 
Um, the reason for that is she has her family in Vietnam to help out. So um, we kind of agreed that that one third, she can do whatever she wants with that money. Um, she helped out her family whenever she wants. And then all of our lunches house the one that paid the bills. And then the extra money, she does whatever she wants with it. Uh, for me, since I'm the person who handles all the finances, all of my money goes into our joint accounts. And then I handles all the leftover expenses in the house. Um, with Lynn, she, since she just recently joined us and uh, actually starting this month, um, she moves in with us. Mm. So the arrangement is since she has her family in Vietnam to help out as well. And um, she has her, her uh, family here to take care of, uh, big burden. So our arrangement is um, all of our dinners, uh, she handles that. And then she helps out with a little bit of our uh, rent. And then whenever she wants, um, she can help out whenever she wants uh, with the other expenses. Especially for you, Linda, we really do need a chart to figure it out. Uh, nhưng mà Linda, I have a question. Okay, nếu hai người kia là có account riêng của họ đó, right? Nhưng mà Linda có không? Uh, yeah, em không. Uh, oh. No, I, I don't. They actually trust me to handle all the all the expenses in the family. So uh, em, em không có một cái account riêng. Okay. Uh, nếu như vậy thì khi mà em cần... Uh, em muốn đi shopping rồi vậy đó. Then that money comes out of the joint account? Yes. Nếu mà em uh, shop for something that uh, it's kind of pricey or uh, I feel that I should discuss with the other two, then I'll let them know. I'll, I'll say, okay, I'm gonna, I, I decide to buy this and that for our family or I want to get this and that for someone as a gift. Um, what do you think? And mm -hmm. Majority of the time, uh, they support me with everything I do. So uh, they pretty much let let me handle all of the expenses. Nice. Okay, let's go to the youngest person in the group. That is Thu. Again, she's 31 years old. She's a pharmacist. Uh, and her household agreement is everything is joint. Correct, yes. Right. Okay. Um, and is that something, la, no, 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 come naturally? Did you talk about it? Hi, la. Like, did you ever think, oh, I wonder if I should have a separate account? No, actually, at first, he has his own accounts as a, for his business. But then later on, we start to do business together. And then we end up so like, okay, just has the same accounts that easier to manage for all the expenses and everything. And since we have kids, so we share a lot too, so... <clears throat> Um, and has there ever been a thought, and I know when you marry someone, you know, you don't think about the end. You don't think, well, what happens if we separate, right? I know that you don't think about that, but some people think ahead. Yeah. Have you ever had the thought of just in case things don't work out that you should have your own money? You never thought of that? Probably I never thought of that. But since you mentioned, I might think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't tell your husband. <laughs> Can you edit this part? <laughs> okay, như vậy là em chưa, em, em chưa có bao giờ nghĩ là, okay, là nếu mà mình nhớ là mình nghĩ xa là just in case. Uh -huh. Khi đó mà có chuyện gì là mình có nên có một cái account riêng cho mình không đó uh, em chưa bao giờ nghĩ đến đó em em chưa bao giờ nghĩ nhưng mà em nghĩ như vậy này nếu như mà ảnh với em mà không có còn together nữa không có thương nhau nữa đó we we met each other when we have nothing and I can start everything over because I know I have a career every money you can make but you know love and all that tình cảm là không bao giờ có thể mua được bằng tiền or everything or anything so that's true tiền có thể làm lại yeah i think i think tiền có thể làm lại được nhưng mà cái gì cái cái tình cảm mà mất rồi it just it just never you can never have it back mm -hmm. and then do your you and your husband um make the pretty much the same amount of money or does one person make a lot more uh no we make about the same okay very good all right uh helen 
So Helen is a nurse. Helen is the one who used to do everything jointly <laughs> and then pretty recently opened up her own account. Mm -hmm. mm, why did you do that? Okay, um, so I mentioned at first we started joint because I didn't really take care of any finances. My husband took care of all the finances and I thought it's okay, he can handle everything until one day, you know, I was like, I, I know we have his own personal plus our joint, but me, I don't have a, a personal when we first started. So then one day I was like, so how much do we have in saving? And then he's like, not much, you know? And then so I like, you know what? Let me have my own account. I want to see how much I can save. So it was something that we discussed and then he's agreed. It wasn't something where we had an argument or anything. So giống như em cảm thấy, ủa mấy năm nay tại sao mình không có được nhiều saving? Cho nên em mới nói là, hay là để em tự mở một cái account để em coi coi, uh, you know, the next two, three years, mình sẽ save được bao nhiêu. So hai đứa em agree. So we agree on the me opening my own personal. And then khi, khi mà hai đứa lãnh lương về lãnh check về đó, thì it goes into the joint account first. And then we expense job, you know, like nhà cửa, everything. And after that, còn cái gì dư đó, we'll, we'll portion into mine and then into his. So that's how we work. But then, um, hồi đó lúc mà join á, thì em rất là free. Em không cần phải suy nghĩ nhiều. À, dùng cái gì cũng được. Như lại là, là, I guess, em với chồng em rất là open about tặng quà cho hai bên gia đình hay cho bạn bè. We're, we're really supportive of each other on that. So khi mà em có cái account riêng á, thì em cảm thấy thoải mái hơn nữa là em có thể tặng cho mẹ em hay là cái gì đó mà em không cần phải xin phép. Còn hồi xưa cái gì we have to I always have to ask. Nhưng mà thí dụ nếu mà một cái số gì lớn quá đó thì of course I will ask him you know like discuss để cho hai người nó có cái um, gọi là right, agreement. Yeah. But em hên á là chồng em rất là hiểu biết. So tụi em không có argument about finance but it's funny how tự joint so bây giờ tự personal right it sounds like we had something going on but actually mình muốn thử cái cách giữ tiền khác để coi mình có safe mà cho cái gia đình mình nhiều hơn không thôi yeah mm. rồi rồi em thấy là how long have you had the the separate account um em nghĩ chắc cũng được khoảng 3 năm thôi oh yeah okay mm -hmm. so 3 năm is 3 năm is a good enough time for you to find out if you're uh -huh. good at saving money, maybe you're better at saving money than your <laughs> husband. Thì, thì what what has been the result so far? A result thì em thấy là em save được nhiều đó. Như lại là, như lại là giống như là giống với lại chị cứ nói là ô oh, có nghĩ tới sau này nếu mà không còn ở bên nhau này nọ đó thì actually là em cũng có save được một một số thì em có, có thể, em có dùng cái đó để mà remodel my house which 7 năm trước em không có thể làm như vậy được tại lúc nào cũng phải worry about còn bây giờ em cảm thấy oh since I started now em có một cái số tiền riêng rồi em giúp uh, remodel hay làm này làm cái kia so it's actually working out really well so we we keeping it yeah we're not changing okay very nice mm -hmm. okay uh, Cam so Cam uh, married three years together for ten four kids together um, and Cam everything is together yes mm -hmm. okay yeah. Uh, but you also said that you have a bunch of different accounts. How do you work that out? Yes. Okay. Uh, like I was telling you, it sounds complicated, but I think it's a way to help me budget and see, you know, how much I have for what. So basically when we got together, you know, we, I, it was almost immediately like we got, we put our money together almost immediately. I don't know. We were best friends before we got together. And so I think there was already that trust there. And so almost immediately when we got together, uh, what, 10 years ago, we just merged our accounts together. I, I, I do all the bills, I do everything. He doesn't like that part, you know, like taking care of that financial stuff. And I love it. Mm -hmm. So it really works out for us. And you know, like I said to you, we never thought about money. Basically what it is is, and I sent you a little graph, but his paycheck because he makes more um it goes into like the bills account which basically are mortgage insurance utilities which i budget you know at, um every six months i revisit the budget and see oh did you know our insurance go up for example then i would adjust that um and then we had a vacation account flights um airbnb anything like that comes out of that account only and then we have a gifts account, which we use for birthday birthday gifts, 
Christmas time, um, graduations, anything like that, that, you know, gifts, because they're from us. It's not just from him or me. Uh, and then my paycheck goes into our joint account, which means gas, groceries, when we go out, you know, together with friends and family or whatever, uh, dinner, anything like that comes out of that account. It's, um, it's like our fun account. Um, if we, you know, buy things for the kids, buy things for the house, you know, anything like that comes out of that account. And then also we have two fun account, which is my account and then his account. So we call it our fun account, where if I go out with my friends, I'm gonna use my fun account because he wasn't there, you know what I mean? Um, and then if he goes out with his friends or whatever like that, or if he decides to buy me a gift or something without me knowing, then he can use that account. Um, Wait, but, but are those two fun accounts, are they separate or joint? They're joint also. like. I have access to it. So we both have our names on those accounts as well. Okay. And then where does the money come from? Oh, it comes out. Sorry. It comes out of his paycheck as well. That's so your fund account comes out of his paycheck? Who earned that money? He did. He did. But, but my, but, but, hold on. But my paycheck, though, pays for everything else. Like the, you know, groceries, gas. When we go out together, you know? Okay. All so. right. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very nice. Cam, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot okay. of budgeting and everything, but like, like I gotta say, it really work, helps out, you know? Okay. Uh, so, right. So, um, you seem like you're in control and it works for you guys. I do have one mm -hmm. question though. Like, okay, nếu mà đi đây thì pay out of this account, còn mm -hmm. nếu mà cái này thì pay out of this account. Mm -hmm. How, how do you actually do it? Là, do you have a debit card for each account or I mean, how do you keep it straight? I, you know, no, we don't have a debit card because <laughs> we use our American Express as much as possible to earn points. The points, of course. Yeah. So I just know, like, for example, uh, we get back from vacation. I keep all the receipt or I go through my Amex statement and I'm like, oh, this was for vacation. Here's gas. Here's food. Here's this. Here's that. I add them up. And then I take it out of the vacation account and then I pay. Oh, um, oh thing. Yoy. nice. So, you know, so we use American Express card as much as possible to earn points. I go out, I buy something. I'm going to go home and I'm going to transfer the money uh, wow. from the account and pay that. So. Okay. Well, you should get paid for your accounting services. I know. Um, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Cam, thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's um, talk to Linda then. So Linda has actually uh, explained a lot about how the accounts are are set up. And it sounds like you've got your paycheck that goes into the joint account that pays for basically everything. Right. And then your two partners, they each have their own accounts. Do they also contribute to the joint account? House, two-thirds of her income uh, into the joint account. Okay. So then they only put a small portion into their personal account. Right. That That's with how. Um, Lynn, it's it's new. So uh, we haven't really go into exactly where, you know, money and all that stuff since she's fairly new into our relationship. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's all up to her on how she wants to contribute to the family. Mm -hmm. And then when you have your own personal expenses, whether you want to buy a gift, whether you want to go shopping, whatever, comes out of the joint account. And it's, is it ever an issue, ever a problem? Uh, no, no. Um, I, I think the reason um, it's when, when, ha when Hao and I first met, um, we pretty much have nothing as well. Um, and I was the only person, well, I was in Vietnam. She just recently came to the U.S. for uh, six years now. And she just recently started working a couple years ago. So prior to that, all the uh, finances, all the income was uh, coming from me. Mm -hmm. So I think we started out that way. So how pretty much trust me on, on how I handle all the money situation for our family. Okay, very interesting. <clears throat> so my situation, ever since I was young, I'm, I've always been very independent. 
And I said to my mom, đây là trước khi mình lập gia đình đó, I told my mom là mai mốt mà con lấy chồng đó, là hai người sẽ có joint account nhưng mà mỗi người cũng là keep their own account. So my mom doesn't understand. Okay, my mom says, nếu mà đã vợ chồng rồi đó thì cái gì cũng chung chứ sao mà nói kỳ vậy? Tại sao mà của anh, của em, của chúng mình là sao? Cái gì là cũng là chúng mình hết. And so I don't know if that's a traditional Vietnamese thought, maybe. And I don't know if now, since you, most of you are are so much younger than me, they be, you know, càng ngày mình, you know, we would thay đổi and, and whatever's accepted is different. But what I wanted to do was so foreign to my mom. She thought it was so weird. She thought that nếu mà đã thương nhau rồi đó thì cái gì tiền bạc cái gì cũng là phải chung chứ tại sao mà làm như vậy. But I was in a situation where I knew I was going to make a lot of my own money, right? Là mình không có là depend uh, whoever I end up with. Mình không có chắc chắn là họ sẽ làm nhiều tiền hơn mình hay là whatever. But thêm nữa, I just feel like I've always been one to be a few steps ahead. You know, không phải là mình nói là okay, divorce là sẽ như vậy. Không bao giờ mà think divorce. Nhưng mà mình khi nào cũng là nghĩ in the long term. What if? Just in case. And then if it doesn't happen, it's fine. But if it does happen, I wanted to make sure that I protected myself. Okay. And so I don't know if uh, arrangements are different when you know your partners make more than you. Do you find that Kima người Việt mình đó, cái cái mà có riêng, do they look at that differently? Like, does anyone have any experience they can share? Um, trong gia đình có vẻ, you know, is that like a traditional value that's normal? Uh, em thì em, em lớn lên ở Mỹ. Nhưng mà somehow cái thinking của em á, em cũng nghĩ là nếu như mà đã là một gia đình rồi, thì không nên có cái gì riêng hết á. Cái gì cũng phải chung. So đối với em á, even with accounts, We should not have separate accounts. Thì cái đó là cái suy nghĩ của em từ xưa tới giờ. Mm. Nhưng mà có thể một phần là tại vì lúc nào em cũng so independent and um, em quen ai á, thì hầu như là em cũng take care of all the finances. Uh. Mấy cái bank accounts, the expenses, income going in, going out là em take care hết. So em không có cái problem nghĩ là ồ, mình um, đưa hết cho người kia, mình phải chia ra như thế này, thế kia, như thế nào. Thì cái đó cái suy nghĩ của em until um, em thì gia đình của em thì em không có ai để mà em phải take care. Nhưng mà Hảo thì có. And then recently now quen Linh thì Linh cũng vậy. They both have um, kind of like a huge burden. Thì khi mà gia đình bên Việt Nam mà cần tiền cho một cái gì đó hoặc là uh, muốn gửi tiền về Việt Nam, muốn mua cái này cái kia cho cháu, cho gia đình bên Việt Nam thì em nghĩ là khi mà hỏi em là ồ, um, lấy số tiền này ra được không, lấy bao nhiêu kia ra được không thì sometimes có thể em a bit unhappy tại vì em nghĩ có thể là không cần hoặc là có cần thiết lắm không hay là ủa mới gửi sao gửi nữa thì um, khi mà em như vậy đó thì sẽ làm cho cái người kia feel uneasy không có comfortable khi mà em đối xử như vậy á thì khi mà em suy nghĩ là em cũng nói ok what if it's the other way around what if là gia đình của em thì như thế nào thì em nghĩ khi mà có cái separate account mỗi cái situation của mỗi gia đình khác nhau và nhất là Việt Nam mình đó em biết là rất là nhiều gia đình um, vợ chồng gây gỗ separate ly dị ly hôn cũng vì là phải có cái burden ở bên Việt Nam. So em nghĩ khi mà có cái separate account như vậy đó cái người kia họ dễ dàng hơn họ có thể decide là ok cái tiền trong cái separate account họ muốn dùng cho họ hay là họ muốn dùng để gửi về cho gia đình bên Việt Nam thì cái đó là tùy họ Uh, quyết định nhưng mà sẽ không làm phiền tới cái người partner kia của mình hoặc là cái joint account của gia đình. Mm-hmm. Okay, Helen. Theo em nghĩ thì I mean like um, cái cái tradition của người Việt Nam mình em nghĩ hồi xưa em nghĩ là cũng thích cái gì cũng chung vợ chồng chung giống như chồng đi làm về đưa tiền cho vợ rồi vợ lo rồi vậy đó. Nhưng mà em thì em lớn ở bên đây 
thì đối với em chung cũng được it, it, vợ chồng là đúng cái gì mình cũng phải share với nhau chứ còn nếu mà của tôi của ông vậy thôi cưới nhau làm gì đúng không nhưng mà theo em á có cái personal account nó cũng có lợi chứ cũng không có hại gì hết tại vì nếu mà hai người mình đồng ý với nhau if you agree upon it I think it's it's a plus to have your own like I say giống mấy chị share với này á you have that freedom em em thích được thoải mái em không có thích bị gò bó nhưng mà giống như em nói nhưng mà em cũng hơn đó là hai vợ chồng em rất là hiểu về uh, giống như gọi là tiền bạc mình không có gây nhau về mấy cái đó giống như là tại sao em dùng cho nhà em nhiều hơn or my family your family that kind of thing so we're really easy on that nhưng mà điều tụi em có cái riêng thì em cảm thấy cái freedom nó rất là sung sướng giống như là em muốn xếp thì nhiều hơn hay là em muốn cho mẹ em hay gì đó hay cho mẹ chồng cái gì em muốn thì em cũng có thể tự làm nhưng mà em thì em respect chồng em cho nên những cái gì em cũng sẽ nói với em biết hey I'm sending your mom sending my mom thì mình không có, có gây nhau and then với lại là em thấy mình mình um, mình giữ cái cái riêng như vậy đó thí dụ mình muốn cho cái quà cho cái người kia nó cũng cũng um, dễ hơn với lại là em nghĩ tóm lại là nếu mà mình có một cái respect cho nhau cái gì mình cũng share nhau để cho biết chứ không phải là mình có riêng để mình giấu riêng mình làm như vậy người Việt Nam mình hay có cái chữ là quỷ đen đó so um, giống như em cũng có nói chuyện với lại nhiều bạn em and then they, they cũng là cũng là join and they nghe em nói em có riêng and they ask they question me they like oh tại sao mình có quỷ đen what do you do with it and stuff like that so em nghĩ là mỗi gia đình mình the way we function is differently nhưng mà lúc mà nói cái tiền bạc it's quite sensitive nhưng mà tùy theo hai người mình communicate như thế nào và mình uh, mình đồng ý như thế nào cuối cùng cái số tiền em giữ đó thì cũng để cho gia đình nhỏ của em thôi chứ đâu phải em giữ cho một mình em nên thử tụi em we're okay on it we're really comfortable with it tú em nghĩ sao I think the same mà chị chị linh because uh, hồi xưa lúc mà em mới lấy ông xã em á thì he has a separate account like I said he has his own business và then uh, later on tụi em cũng làm business chung nên là với lại hồi xưa ảnh có account riêng á thì ảnh không có save được nhiều mỗi lần em hỏi của anh ơi năm nay anh save được bao nhiêu vậy mình mua cái này mua cái kia được không thường thường thì em ít khi nào em mua cái gì cho bản thân em lắm cái gì mà em mua cho em á thế là em cũng phải hỏi ảnh hết á mặc dù mặc dù lúc đó là account riêng nha em cũng em cũng hỏi anh ờ, anh ơi em mua cái này được không hay là anh thấy cái này được không em mua được không thì anh nói không thì thôi em cũng không mua em sẽ hỏi tại sao là này nọ em sẽ explain tại sao em cần cái đó nhưng mà he said ờ, tụi em explain qua lại có nhiều thứ anh cũng mua em cũng không thích tại vì đàn ông họ hay có hobby riêng lắm uh, nhưng mà sau đó, đó em thấy là khi mà anh có separate account anh không có xem được nhiều nên khi mà tụi em có con tụi em mới ngồi lại thì em nói ok mình cũng phải cần save cho con rồi sau này nó này nọ đó có cái gì đó thì mình vẫn còn cái tiền đó mình cho con mình hoặc là mình cũng không không phải lo cho bản thân mình khi mà con mình nó không có cần mình nữa and then he's ok and he's he nói yeah mà khi mà đi chơi với em á thì tụi em save được rất là nhiều mm. so it, it, it's a plus it's a plus it's not like it, it's a positive way nice Hey Cam, so I have a question. Um, a lot of Vietnamese um, people have extended family in Vietnam that they that they help. Uh, do you, or has that ever no? No, I left there when I was two years old. So okay. I, don't, I mean, you know, we have cousins and stuff like that. So my mom and my older sister takes care of them still. But like, I left when I was two. I don't really know them. Um, But in regards to like, you know, the joint and separate accounts, um, I've had experience with having separate accounts and that just did not work out for me because there was so much resentment. And what it is, what I mean is, um, for example, my husband and I, we talked about this too, because when he was with his other relationship, they had separate accounts and then she would give him some money to pay for this or that every month, you know? So before I was with my husband, I... I was um, with my ex husband, and um, and I had you know my we ha- I had my own kids already at that time, and my ex husband, he every month he would give me so much for you know the household, like gas, mortgage, and stuff like that. But I'm like, well, how did you come up with that number? Because whenever I buy groceries, it comes from my account. Whenever we buy anything, it comes from my account, you know, but yet every single month he would give me a check first, you know, for 
this amount because that's how much he thought that he was his half or his portion. But it's like whenever I bought anything, it came out of my account. So what ended up happening was there was a lot of resentment. <laughs> That's probably why we didn't stay together. But there was a lot of resentment on my end because I, I, I felt like I was providing for everything. I was buying everything, you know. How did you come up with this number to pay for everything? But yet, I buy everything still. So uh, that's not the only reason why we broke up. But I, <laughs> there was a lot of resentment because of finances and stuff. And then um, when Andy and I got together, like I say, almost immediately we just merged together. It just felt so natural and we were best friends before that so there was already that trust and respect and it just felt so natural for us to just merge everything together and um, I just took care of everything he, um, he trusts me you know and so we never have ever fought about money I'm I'm on my second marriage right now so obviously when we came together I had my own yep. uh, accounts and my own stuff and um, Denny had his. And our a situation is not so like uh, black and white. Like we never really talked about finances. Obviously, he had his and then I had mine. But we never talked about who pays what. And a lot of times it's because it's a lot of work to change bank accounts it's a lot of work to change auto payments, right? The bill, all that stuff. So it actually was out of convenience. So I bank at like four or five different banks. And at each bank, I have like two checking and a saving and then a money market. And that, you know, so I have a lot going on. He just has one who that is a separate account. He's much like simpler. Um, and then we, we, oh, we don't even have a joint account. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we don't have a joint account. I pay all the bills, like the little stuff, you know, utilities, um, you know, whatever from my account. And then he takes care of everything else, insurance, car payments, if we have any, um, you know, when we had a mortgage, we, and so every, all the big stuff he pays for, I pay for the daily, the monthly bills and stuff. And wow, I just realized we don't actually have a joint account. There's no account with both of our names on it, except our business stuff. But we never actually discussed it. I think also, um, and then là mình đang đi học mình cũng chưa có save được tiền mình không có có account rồi đó mình gặp ai mình quen ai đó rồi lấy nhau thì nó the way that develops is different whereas I was a career woman for many years before I got married so I already had my setup I know that there are a lot of people where money becomes a problem We've, I've never fought about finances with anyone I've been with. Like, it just was never an issue. If you ladies were to do it differently, if you were to start over, okay, would you do anything differently? Like, would you want a different setup? Em, em nghĩ em sẽ không có làm khác đâu là tại vì lúc mà em mới ra trường em cũng chưa có đi làm so joint account is perfect and then so bây giờ thì mình, mình split ra since I start working later on nhưng mà điều um, I think it works great for us yeah mm -hmm. so everyone feels like they're in a good position right well if I have a chance to start over I should have him joy a little bit earlier <laughs> <laughs> To save more money, right? <laughs> There you go. Mm -hmm. um, do any of you know people or have heard that women who didn't have their own accounts, women who didn't pay attention to the finances, women who kind of let the husband take care of everything, um, that they ran into difficulty 
especially những người mà mới được sponsor qua đó. So uh, mấy mấy anh mấy chú mà về Việt Nam mà đón mấy cô qua đây nè, thì a lot of time họ qua đây they don't have anything at all. So um, em nghe nhiều câu chuyện and I actually visited uh, a few of them. Tội lắm qua đây á um, ở nhà um, không phải là không muốn đi làm mà chồng không muốn cho chồng không cho đi làm mm. ở nhà trông con thì không đi làm thì đâu có tiền đâu um, không có tiền để gửi về phụ giúp gia đình bên Việt Nam muốn mua sắm cái gì cũng không được cũng phải hỏi cũng phải xin phép uh, cũng phải xin phép chồng mà bây giờ hai vợ chồng không vui vẻ với nhau đi cũng uh, không dám uh, ly dị là tại vì bây giờ mà ly dị không có việc làm không có tiền thì ra tòa đâu, đâu có được coi con đâu đâu có được giữ đứa con đó cho nên là bắt buộc phải chịu là ở nhà Um, tiếp tục cuộc sống không có vui vẻ như vậy. Ừ. Yeah, cái đó Lina cũng nghe rất là nhiều là khi mà mình uh, mình depend quá nơi người chồng đó or your partner like if they make all the money if they control all the money mà mình không có happy đó rất là khó mà để make a decision Even though you know that the decision is probably right to separate, nhưng mà you are held back by the finances. And I think that's really sad to be. They say that money can't buy happiness. But in that situation, if you had your own money, you would be able to go and find happiness. Yeah. Right? Oh. You're not dependent. Yeah, hoặc là em, ví dụ em biết những người where um, chồng take care of everything And then khi mà người chồng đó đổ bệnh nặng hoặc là bị mất đi, cái người vợ đó là completely lost, không không biết phải làm gì, không biết làm sao vô được bank account, không biết làm sao để trả bills. Mm-hmm. So đó là những cái mà em nghĩ um, những những chị mà ở nhà đó không phải là mình muốn giữ tiền hoặc là mình muốn coi theo những cái cách um, tiền bạc của gia đình hoặc là bills này nọ, nhưng mà mình nên biết just in case cái người, cái người chồng của mình, người spouse của mình không có around để mà help out những cái đó, at least mình biết phải làm như thế nào. Yeah, you're right. Uh, that's very important. Um, and and I know that all of all of you here, you at least la, you have an idea of what's going on. You know the accounts. You have access. You know the bills coming in, what's going out each month. But there are so many women who don't know Uh, vì người chồng là, he makes most of the money. He has taken care of it for so many years. Why change it? Um, but just, you know, just like Linda said, it's important to know what's going on. Mà không phải là người Việt thôi, nhưng mà all women, so many women are in that position where uh, tự nhiên ông chồng có stroke, ông mất. Mà vợ không có biết làm gì. Không có biết là cái insurance policy nó nó ra sao nữa cũng không có biết luôn. Không có biết là mình phải làm sao. Right? And so it's very difficult. So we're not just talking about having a separate account. Nhưng mà it's a good idea to learn about your family finances. To start, don't wait until you have to. Start now. Right? Know what accounts you have what insurance policies you have, what kind of bills and debt are you in, okay? What are you going to need to live comfortably? Mấy em thì đang, thì quá trẻ rồi, nhưng mà, you know, especially like, I mean, like tu, 31, you are a baby. Nhưng mà, you know, you need to know how much do I need when I'm 60 to live comfortably, okay? I know that you love your husband, I know that you guys are happy, but make sure you have some knowledge for the future, your future, just in case something happens. And we're not talking about divorce. We're talking about what if someone gets really sick? Okay, What if something happens and they can no longer work and then you have to take care of them? So it's a good idea to just take a look and start getting yourself familiar uh, with your family finances. And, you know, and again, everything is going to be different for every family. Nhưng mà knowledge, 
everyone should be seeking more knowledge about their finances and what they can do. Go ahead, Linda. Giống, giống như em đi, um, tất cả bills ở nhà là em lo, em take care, em trả hết. Um, nhưng mà em always cho uh, Hảo biết, and my son as well, I included him in, là ok, tại vì em để income and expenses monthly. So mm. mỗi tháng em sẽ nói, ok, this is how much we spend on eating out, we, we need to cut down on it. And another thing is em cho both of them uh, passwords to all of my accounts, bank accounts, bills, everything. So just in case my em không access the or something happened to me, at least they know to go in there and and, and look. Right, very good. Okay, bây giờ hỏi mấy cô nha. Có bao giờ mà mình đi chợ mình mua đồ đó, mình mua áo quần hay là giày dép hay là sách bóp whatever. Rồi khi mà mình về đó mình giấu nó mình mình để nó sau sau cái cốp xe mình không có mang gì hết vô. Anybody ever do that? Anybody? <laughs> See? So, when I was little, my mom used to do that. Okay? Even though má của Lina cũng làm ra tiền, is you know. Nhưng mà I remember seeing là mỗi lần mà she đi shopping đó, là khi mà she đi về á, okay? She'd get into the garage. You know, bỏ mấy cái sách sau cốp xe mang một hai cái vô thôi <laughs> rồi từ từ see because because my she didn't want my dad to say anything about all the shopping that she was doing um but anyway so you guys have all done that huh so no, funny em em thì em không phải um tại thường thường á em cũng không có nhu cầu để mà mua cái gì lắm cho mình nữa uh. là khi mà mua cái gì á là thảo doesn't have any problem with it mm-hmm. uh, cho nên trong nhà ai mà muốn đi mua cái gì á là mua thôi à mm. Nhưng mà nếu mà mua cái gì mà hơi mắc một chút xíu đó thì phải uh, discuss, phải phải, mm-hmm. phải uh, nói chuyện ra. Nhưng mà other than that, muốn mua gì mua. Uh-huh. Yeah. Em thì hơi khác một tí. Uh, em thì cũng không có giấu gì hết. Em đi vô đi bình thường thôi. Nhưng mà em mua cái gì cho em, em mua một cái cho anh. <cười> Để vô không có, không có la em được. Để vô, hey, you have gift too. We're, we're equal. <cười> But I see uh, that Cam, Cam and Helen, you've done that. Yes. Em um, không phải là giấu nhưng mà là I guess sometimes I feel guilty. Là giống như là it's more like something that I want more than me. So cho nên là em thấy oh you know it's not necessary. Kệ cứ để ở ngoài xe từ từ lấy vô cũng được. Yeah. So không có muốn him like <laughs> nghĩ something but then he never he never say anything. Nhưng mà mình cứ prevent thôi. I, that's uh. my personality. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I totally agree with you. I'm the same way. It's just like, it's not because I'm afraid he's going to yell at me or this and that. But sometimes I'm just like, well, I already have a lot of shoes, but my gosh, here's another one, you know? And yeah, I mean, it's not a need, but it was a want. So, uh, so yeah, but he's always teasing me about my little shopping. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, that's so funny. Because with, with my husband, it's so different. Because if I bring something home, he's actually very excited. He'd be like, oh, what did you get? Oh, let's see it. Let me see you put it on. You know, he love love. And and I don't, I actually don't shop a lot. Have your shopping habits changed? Has it changed over the years? More or less? A lot less. So now it's wants and needs. Oh, now it's wants and needs. Okay. I have to do a role model, be a role model for my son. Mm. Um, mỗi lần mà mặc cái áo gì mới đó là like mm. he's the first one to spot out he's like mom is that new so <laughs> bây giờ mà dạy nó want to need to là phải I have to tell myself first do I want it or do I need it mm. that's a good lesson for them I would say the same but lately I don't buy anything for myself but just for two of the kids <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah yeah thì hồi em có con cứ toàn mua đồ cho con chẳng có không muốn mua đồ nào cho mình nữa yeah so that's very Vietnamese <laughs> Mm-hmm. I think I've increased, not right now in the last year or so, but I've noticed that I did increase my shopping because we started making more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? And so you're like, oh, now I have more money and stuff like that. So mine increased, but the last year or so it decreased again and stuff because we open on business and everything. So, uh, but um, right. yeah, it all depends on how much we're bringing in. So, uh-huh. mm-hmm. Helen? Um, for me, I think I spent less, uh, shopping less than when I got married, 
And then now that I have kids, it's shopping for kids more than for us. So it did change, but in a good way. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. See, I feel like I was very much... Uh, I would say very traditional thì cái gì mà you know, mình spend tiền cho con cái, cho chồng, cho gia đình đó, thì mình không có kể. And it, it feels good to spend money. Like khi mà mình mua cái áo cho đứa con gái, mình nó nó sung sướng sao á, right? You really like it. And and I love spending money on other people. Nhưng mà when it comes to spending money on myself, là cứ là the wants and needs. But if you look at wants and needs, you know, there's really not much that you need, right? That there's really not much. And so I've always been that way. Recently, it's changed. And I think it's a combination of, of a couple of things. As I get older, I realize that it is so important to enjoy life. And then I look back at how hard I've worked. You know, I, people I took care of, my my kids, my family, my family in Vietnam, and then my charity and helping strangers and just uh, always giving, giving, giving. Tại vì sometimes người phụ nữ Việt Nam mình uh, mình rất là hay hy sinh cho người khác. Ừ. Mà mình mua cái gì cho mình hoặc là mình lo cái gì cho mình đó, mình cảm thấy là không có xứng đáng, mình không có, you know, không có nên làm như vậy. Uh, almost like it's ích kỷ hoặc là, you know, selfish somehow. But it's not. And I only recently have learned that, that it's okay to treat yourself. Mình làm tiền, mình bỏ nhà băng, mình earn interest. That's good. That's good for the future. But if you get to a point in your life where you have built something and then you have a plan in place to take care of your kids and your family, that I think is really important to have those fun accounts like Cam, ha Cam has. It's important to spend just a little money and and create good memories. Normally, we all want to find the cheapest flights, the cheapest hotel room, the cheap cái gì cũng là, you know, even though mình có tiền để trả more, nhưng mà cái tính mình á, là mình muốn save được chừng nào tốt chừng đó, phải không? Now, I feel like it's okay to maybe be a little more rộng rãi với chính mình á, để mình enjoy được. And then I don't feel guilty about it anymore. Là hồi trước mình mình không có bao giờ mà muốn mua cái gì mà you know mắc tiền cho mình hết trơn á, tại vì mình nghĩ là nó phí quá. But if you make the money, if you do all the other stuff, you take care of other people, that it's okay to treat yourself to something. Okay, yeah. Chồng mua cho mình là một cái. That's nice too. Nhưng mà I don't like it when he spends money on me. When you buy something for yourself actually feels good because you're taking care of yourself. And after everything that people have been through the last couple of years, I think it's really important, mental health as well, do something for yourself. Like, treat yourself. Like, go get a massage. You know, do something and take care of yourself because you, you deserve it. You earned it. So anyway, I thank all of you for sharing your experiences. I really appreciate that. And what we see is that different things work for different people. Okay, ladies, thank you so much. And hold on a second, because you know what we have to do? I, I make everyone do this. I make everyone do this. Have you guys listened to my show before? Does anyone recognize this piece of music? Yes. This is my relaxing music. Okay, you gotta get down. I know you're in a boba shop, Helen. People would look at you funny if you if you started moving. But thank you, everybody. Thank you, Helen. Helen, Cam, and Linda. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, everyone at home. And we'll see you next time.